We use data virtualization to be able to deliver our regulatory reports across the whole year. So there's various EU regulations, UK regulations, which are, we have to provide our customers with information about certain things, and they are changing, they're becoming more rapid as time goes by. And traditional approaches to ETL, data pipelines, would not be able to keep up with the rate of change. So data virtualization allows us to be regulatory compliant. So St. James Place is uh, you know, it's wealth management, so we offer sort of financial services to private clients and stuff like that. So we uh, manage people's pensions, investments in unit trusts, uh, bonds, things like that, through uh, a large network of sort of financial advisors or partners that we run. So before Denodo, there was a central database that was being used to produce these reports. Um, for various IT reasons, we're moving off that database um, and we're about 70% through the transition right now, after a couple of years. So we knew that there was no way without something like data virtualization, we were going to be able to keep up with the change. So uh, last year, we managed to only just produce our big report off this old database, but this year there was no chance. We were, the data is just not being fed into that system, it's being fed into different systems. The only way we could bring all the data together and keep it together, we felt, was data virtualization. We are doing elements of the logical data warehouse. Um, if we were going to call anything, we call it a logical data mart rather than your whole warehouse because we're specifically interested in information about sort of our clients, how they're doing and sort of how much they're getting back from their investments, how much of that is being taken up by charges and things like that. Uh, one of the objectives of the company for the year is this idea of operational excellence, so us being able to give an excellent service, if you will, to our customers. And Denodo definitely supports that by making us able to produce these reports. In next year, for example, we have, we're probably doubling the amount of reports which are going to be producing through Denodo. Um, we're producing our biggest report, which is our like, annual report through Denodo this year. Um, it's key in our customer relation. That, that annual customer report is the biggest mailing we do um, each year, and all the data for it has been collected, integrated, and then pushed out using the data. The idea that we could even start building a new data warehouse completely in Snowflake without any data virtualization would be an impossible task. We would be waiting another four or five years to even think about building a new data warehouse without data virtualization. So we think that that logical data warehouse thing is going to be key to our next uh, we have like a 2025 strategy and um, yeah, for data architecture, data virtualization is going to be a key part of our 2025 strategy. We became aware of Denodo because of Gartner. That was our first way in, is that we saw that you guys were moving into, I believe you moved into the challenges quadrant after being in the visionaries for an area. Uh, we did a proof of concept using Denodo. We're very happy with it. We adopted it pretty quickly. Um, the, the period in time um, last year where we were moving up to our statements and we knew we had this problem, as soon as we realized that Denodo had all the key features that we needed, virtualization, XML, ability to connect to a variety of data sources, uh, it was a bit of a no-brainer.